hi guys welcome to my youtube channel uh, today i am going to discuss about uh, cp so cp basically is a uh, traffic testing tool which is used mainly for uh, uh, doing stress testing uh, stress testing of tools uh, various kind of c applications so uh, i am going to discuss about uh, uh, CP today. So basically, before going to discuss, I just want to uh, tell you that uh, you can go to uh, YouTube. You can search with this uh, my channel name. You will get this, and uh, here you can come into my channel videos. So <clears throat> basically, before going to uh, discuss about CP, you have to understand how. Uh, how the SIP works, how the WAP and RTP works. Once you are very, uh, uh, I mean, uh, you got mastering in SIP WAP, then it's easy for you to understand the CP tool because CP needs deep understanding of uh, WAP protocol. So here are a few videos uh, I have released earlier. So I think this will help you to understand SIP WAP and RTP and after that you will be able to get a good idea and hands on CP easily cp tool easily so guys uh, let's uh, let's not forget to subscribe to my channel uh, you can uh, subscribe uh, here so to get the latest updates please uh, subscribe put your comments feedbacks uh, i will be very happy to answer those uh, so let's start uh, cp tool so basically cp is used for <coughs> various kinds of uh, uh, cp applications debugging so here i am for demo uh, you can build your own cp tools or there are various kinds of open source available in market you can download and you can uh, install and uh, try yourself so here for demo i am using asterisk proxy for uh, showing how it works so basically i am not going to discuss about asterisk much today so uh, i will focus on cp this i will discuss later on another video i will uh, release so today i am just going to discuss uh, mostly on cp how it works uh, it's just first chapter of cp i will release more videos related to cp later but today i am going to give a basic idea of cp so here you have uh, uh, I, in my previous videos I have shown you how to register a phone so here I have registered a phone and I am just uh, making a call please leave your message after the tone when done hang up or press so the uh, in asterisk I already have uh, so in asterisk I already have uh, some dial plan configured so when I dial from this phone it will play back some announcement so you must have dialed some numbers uh, in like uh, any of the call centers numbers you have got some ivs played so it's similar like ivs system so people develop ivs system like this only so here i am just wanted to show you that using my soft phone or using mobile i can dial one time only and it will just make one call but to do a stress testing i need thousands of calls generated so cp is the tool which is used for generating load cp load so here you can see that a uh, uh, few calls are generated one call is generated so basically manually i cannot do this so to do this i have to i have to have one uh, automated testing tool so cp is a cp testing tool so i'm showing going to show you how the cp works so cp has so many versions so today i am going to show you cp 3.3 i already have downloaded cp 3.3 you can go to google and you can figure out uh, you can find various links from where you can download the cp uh, so here i have downloaded cp 3.3 now after downloading cp 3.3 once you enter the files you have to go to the cp folder now you have to compile this cp first to generate the binary in unix system in windows system it is separate process in unix system it is separate process so i am showing the demo in unix system so <clears throat> let's first compile this cp 
so to compile you have to uh, configure first these commands so there are various advanced uh, things we can enable but to enable those i will discuss all this later i am just showing the basic uh, commands how to start cp so here i am starting compiling so first you have to configure this so so it got configured now now you have to do make So what I am doing, I am showing you. I have I have made it previously, so it is not doing anything. So I just clean those old files. Now I am doing a fresh make. So you can see that the files are getting compiled here. So after compilation, it will generate a, a binary file. So if you see. Here the CP binary file got created. Uh, so this is I don't want to install this because I can run the CP tool from here itself. So uh, I'm just going to uh, tell you how uh, the CP works. The CP has some. Uh, you have to have some XML, XML file. CP has some XML file you have to push where you uh, mention the flow flow of the SIP, what you want to run. You can do anything using CP. You can make inbound call, you can receive inbound call, you can make outbound calls. So here I am just showing you how to uh, make an UAC, user agent client, which will dial to a proxy n number of calls and how this n number of calls will be dialed, how to configure this, I am going to show you. There are some uh, default xml you will find which are called uac.xml then user agent server xml those xmls are available here i am just uh, showing you one uac uh, setup so i have created one uh, file so uh, as i told you you have to have very good idea of uh, sip how the SIP works, how the BOE protocol. So you have to know all the headers, all the uh, invite packet, which are the headers, how the response are processed. So you have to have a good idea of SIP uh, before you start CP uh, programming. So CP programming is quite uh, uh, difficult and advanced level knowledge of SIP is very much required. So here I am showing you. So as you know that the SIP has like invite, uh, you just go through my previous videos if you have any doubts. So uh, here for outbound calls, we send invite, then we get 100 trying, 180 ringing, or we can get in some cases 183 session progress. So these are all mentioned in SIP protocol. So after that, I will receive an answer. Then after that answer, I have to send an egg. So all these things CP can do. So here you can see that I have written the invite packet totally. Then I have sent this packet. So this is the command. This script automatically will be run by the CP binary. So it will send an invite. Then when it receive under trying, it will receive it, process it then receive whatever 180 or 183 these are optional messages anyone can receive so anything can come it will process so 200 okay is <clears throat> uh, is mandatory so once 200 okay received it will send to under acknowledge back so my c flow is complete so now i can uh, the use this xml to repeatedly send uh, my messages so here i give a pause for 100 millisecond uh, sorry 20 second 20 second pause i have given after that i will send a buy to disconnect the call so for 20 second it keep the calls so it is configurable you can configure it as long as you want so the stress according to your stress testing you can configure it anything so after that i will send a buy then i got a 200 okay so my c flow is complete here so i will run this c uh, flow again and again and again and i will generate as many calls as i want so to do that i have to configure something so i am showing you the command
so here uh, uh, here you can see my binary file got created so i have a i have to mention the binary file name then i have to mention the server where i will send these calls my uh, server is running here so i have given this server ip here so this is the ip and this is the port where the application is running then i have to mention my uh, xml file like this uh, scenario file sf scenario file name here then i have to uh, uh, this is something advanced level thing i will discuss later this this for this video it's not much required then i have my hyphen m option this hyphen m option means that how many calls i want to process after these many calls are processed this uh, this uh, test will exit itself hyphen l means uh, how many total uh, uh, how many concurrent calls i want to run so here i can mention anything like uh, five concurrent calls i want to run then it means the frequency or rate of calls uh, and this is rate per second so here uh, 20 2000 millisecond i have mentioned and r1 means every two second one call will get generated and this is my hyphen i means the interface local interface and hyphen t means the local port so uh, this means the local ip and local port so i have already mentioned everything here so now what will happen with these calls is <coughs> it will uh, maximum five concurrent calls it will uh, generate and uh, every two seconds it will generate one call and after 25 calls the test will exit so let's run this now so you see one call is already fired two calls fired so every two seconds it is generating one calls. now i see the server and what is happening so server end you can see that is getting call every two seconds it is getting a new call see this is getting answered this is getting answered so every two seconds it's getting a new call so this is how i am generating traffic and uh, i am keeping the traffic for 20 seconds so after 20 seconds calls are getting released so my maximum calls as i mentioned five concurrent calls i want so this is how it is generating calls now while running the traffic i can increase uh, power call capacity now how i will increase if i will uh, put plus it will increase see now uh, as I mentioned, the concurrent call limit is 5, so it will uh, dial one call per second now. But as I have increased, uh, but it cannot uh, go beyond 5. So if I will change this, uh, okay, before that, I just want to show that after 25 calls, it will get exited. Now, 25 calls are already fired, it's not firing any more calls because I have put the limit as 25. So after 25 calls will get released, it will uh, stop, uh, it will exit the test plan. So it exited test plan after 25. Now I want to give a huge traffic to this server. So let's say I want to dial 150 calls, 105 calls and next uh, Say I want to dial. See, it's dialing to one call per second. Now, after uh, as I have mentioned, fifty concurrent calls, so it will keep increasing until it reaches fifty. So it is seven, eight. So you can see the calls are here. It's here, but now I want to increase uh, the call rate. So if I put plus, it will increase the call rate. Yeah. 
see that it's firing calls very fast now. You see the server and is getting fired very fast. So this is how the CP works. Uh, so uh, now it reached 50, so it will not dial any more calls until the calls are getting released. So when a one call gets released, it will fire another call. So it will keep increasing doing like this. So this is how guys uh, the CP works. Uh, so uh, so these are the some testing tools very useful uh, in uh, production. So people all over these are very famous testing tool. So uh, I mean for CP. Uh, testing all across the all over the world people use this tool it's very important for a test team who has good idea on SIP uh, who want to build a CP testing tool they can use this uh, so guys this is very basic thing I will discuss more I will release more videos related to this if you have any query please let me know in comments section and uh, also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get latest updates thanks guys